What's up guys, welcome back to another tutorial. So, since a few friends of mine asked me on how to design PS4 game save on a firmware higher than 5.05, .05, like for example 6.20, 6.51, 6.50, uh, so I decided to make this tutorial. In this tutorial, you can Resign some save on firmware 505 to higher firmware. Let's say you have a PlayStation 4 on a firmware 505 and your friend he has firmware, let's say 6.20 and he doesn't own Save Wizard or he doesn't own PlayStation 4 on 505. So you can get his PSN ID and resign those save on a firmware 505 and send him the save and he still use it. So that's been said, let's get started. The first thing you need is the save you wanna you know decrypt and change the ID to your friend ID. So I download the save from online and uh, I decrypt the files. I'm not going to show you how to decrypt the files. Uh, I already make a tutorial on the Discord channel. Please check it out whenever you have time. And here is the decrypted uh, save file, as you can see. Uh, so next we need the PSN ID of your friend. Let's say this is my friend PSN ID. So how to get the PSN ID? You need a thumb drive plug it into your PlayStation 4 uh, but before you do that you have to have uh, an activated PSN account if you don't have the PSN an activated PSN account there is another tutorial how to activate PSN account offline on firmware 5.05 .05. so you plug in the thumb drive into the play, PlayStation 4 you copy any any save it doesn't really matter just transfer or copy any save to the USB and it like the USB from PlayStation 4, plug it back into your computer. And go to PS4, save data, and there you go. This is the ID we uh, we are after. Copy it. And if you want to, you can do it one by one. This is a one byte. So you cut each one byte and you paste it so we can reverse the whole thing. And after you are done, you need to make sure the letter is in uppercase. Uh, there is a, a very useful tool by THL. Uh, by the way, special thanks to THL for his great tool and Golden and Shandu Chop. Thank you guys. So you copy the PlayStation account ID for your friend, open THL converter, and you go and sign integer 64, sorry, sign integer 64, this is the unsigned integer 64, it doesn't really matter, it's the same thing, and you paste the PSN account or if you're of your friends, click here, hit space, and check the big engine, and there you go. We already converted in uppercase. We are done with this step. Next, we need to change the bottom SFO to our friend's BSN ID or account ID. I keep saying the wrong thing, anyways. So we open it with the SFO editor. By the way, I will leave the tools and the links in the description. You click here, highlight this account ID and paste. Go to File, Save, and Exit. Okay. Next, we need to open PS4 Save Monitor 1.5 by Change the Chop. I already sent the payload. Just click, click on Connect. Click on Setup. Get Games. Search. So, as you can see, guys, the save has no SCE. Prefix. What I mean by SCE prefix, let's say I have, I think I have God of War here. As you can see, SCE, I think, I'm not really sure, but I think this will cause some problem or conflict. See, because my save has no SCE prefix. 
So I will just so choose different game and I'm going to choose uh, the chess, pure chess. Okay. Next, I'm gonna just copy the game saved. Make sure exactly the same thing. I'm going to paste it right here and choose the size. You see the size, I already checked, the size is about 10 megabytes. So it's, it's close to 10, meg 10 megabytes, 11 megabytes, it doesn't really matter. And click on create save. Save created. Now click on search again so, so we can see the new save. There you go, that's our save. We need to mount it to replace its files. So click on mount. Next, I'm going to use my computer as an FTP client. Uh, you can use FileZilla or something else. Uh, it doesn't really matter, it's the same thing. I just find this one for easy use. So you insert your um, IP address followed by the port number. 1337 okay and next we go to MMT TFS and there you go that's the save we just create open this folder delete its content next we are going to transfer the decrypted files okay that was fast and we go back and we click on in mount okay Refresh. Now I just want to make sure if the PSN ID or account ID of our friend is still the same. So I'm going to double check and make sure the account ID is still the same. So I'm going to mount the game again. Right, click refresh. I'm going to see the parameters of all still the same. If I open it, so it's, that's a good sign. This is still the same. That's good. Okay. So now I click on in mount, refresh. I'm going to leave this. I don't need it anymore. Then we go to user. There you go. User. And you go home. Local account ID. So I think this one. Yeah, this one. Save data. And I believe. That's the one we are after. As you can see, that's the save we just create. So drag and drop to your desktop. Wait a few seconds. Okay. Now we need to rename this to this. So I'm going to delete this one. I don't need it anymore. Or you can get the uh, game ID from the save we decrypted earlier, which is right here. Also, you get the game save right here. All right. Next, we open the save we just copy and we delete the chess game because this is not what we are after. And we rename this one because if you leave this one just like so, when you transfer this one to the USB, it's not going to be transferred. We delete this part. I want to click on. We don't need save wizard anymore. So now all what you need is send the this file to your PlayStation uh, to your friend. I'm sorry, and he can just you know copy to the usb and transfer it to the ps4 let's say so it's going to be like this computer ps4 save data and there you go guys uh thanks for watching and i will see you in the next tutorial